The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Timber Born with me, JD. I thought for a change we wouldn't start off with a drought. So, it's only been a day. It's only been a day. I've just been doing some thinking, some prep work, some, some, some of that sort of stuff. Today's episode. Today's episode. Obviously, main district... Building a levy. Nothing but a levy. Need to get Toothy Dam as big as possible. Um, same time, we're going to try our very hardest. Uh, can I get a potato in there? Try our very hardest to uh, get the three storage tanks up and running. I think once they're done, district is done, right? Um, we still have a... I'm pretty sure it's a we can't harvest food fast enough problem. Um, maybe it's a storage problem. Maybe it's a storage problem. Uh, we are probably at the stage where we can definitely afford to get some live storage. So we probably need to do that. Actually, you got 97 planks. We are so getting large storage right about now. Uh, storage. Oh, oh, that needs... Mm, oh. Okay, no, we're going to get large storage. I really want the underground storage. Be restrained. Never mind. They're still stupid beavers. I told them they could start building this end. Someone got stuck straight away. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay, where where are we? Uh, storage. A large storage. Yes. Okay, you are three by three. So I want you in right here. We are definitely going to say remove. And I'm pretty sure I actually have too many builders and not enough tasks. Because we can only have so many builders assigned to coming and building at once um in theory i assume we can have four builders assigned to each levy um but it's like four builders assigned to this levy and then four by builders assigned to that levy that's that's it i don't think we can actually have more than four builders which is why things tend to get dismantled very very quickly when i issue the order uh so we're gonna put in storage here which i really want to get done before we look at the next district uh cool nope not quite come on come on oh it turns out maple takes a lot longer to remove okay there we go we're gonna put in a storage container right there which is super expensive don't get me wrong it's 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 not worth it what it costs but at the same time i do want to put two of those there because we have a crap ton of science again. So we're going to unlock the labor of monument. And really, it doesn't cover the houses. Damn. All right, we're going to empty storage, prioritize building. Uh, we're going to kick Saggy and Rough. Am I? Yep, I'm going to kick Saggy and Rough out of there. We're going to move that over literally a tile. So I can put a storage here instead. Uh, I don't need that platform or that platform, it turns out. We're going to empty this somehow. Uh, and then put new storage there with one, two. Yeah, I'm going to put a monument right here. I want a monument covering our houses because uh, the monument oh will give us working speed plus 25%. Which I will take. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have many beavers actually having a chance to use the temple because we're still in that 20 hour work day. Uh, yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to cut that back sometime soon. We do have water finally flowing into the main district, so we need to refill all these tanks. Oh, we got another tank done. Uh, you, hang on, which one's which? Uh, you're that priority and you're that priority. Okay, so main district, water, 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 and, and, and build a storage. Well, Empty that one, which should now hopefully... Oh. It's half built already. Yeah, I think we have too many builders. No one employed. Uh, beaver is stranded. Oh no, same beaver. Okay. So, step number one. Step number two at New District. New District, we have some plants, okay? New District has not a lot of food. It's not a lot of food. Uh, but they now have uh, paper, planks, and wood. So I have marked certain tiles here to be not planted in. And we're going to go beehive, beehive, 
beehive, beehive, beehive, beehive. Once they're harvested. Um, I, I do want to get a couple of beehives at the same time. I have moved the farmhouses over here out of the green zone. Uh, we also set up some more water pumps. And don't forget, we also have the um, plank guys. Plank guys to uh, obviously get some planks up and running. We do need to grab... Plank. That is maple. No, it's already set up. Uh, same time, we're going to need... Uh, Two tile. There. To there and there. Uh, to there. Okay, so the important ones I want... How is our housing in this district, actually? So we have spare housing, and actually we have a lot of children on the way. Uh, we're going to, no matter what, set up... More housing. Uh, there, there, and there. Uh, same as previously. Just going to wrap the paths through. We're then going to assign that to all zero priority. But, 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 but. Uh, we are going to add, where are we? Decorations. Shrubs, because this has not been done yet. There and there. Uh, and there and there. At the same time, we did work out that a scarecrow two tiles there and here. But I need to get up a couple of levels first. Uh, look, scarecrows are cheap. Oh, actually, right there in the middle at the rear. Done. All right. So we are going to max out the party on that and that. They should be fairly quick builds. Uh, let's build the shrub uh, over time. I wonder. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We'll, we'll, the roof, a roof one by one is cheap. Okay. So that's the plan. Get those up and running. Uh... At the same time, after we get the plank machines here, I think I'm going to put a gear machine in this district as well. I'm going to want to get gears up and running because we want to swap over the small tanks to large tanks, uh, obviously. Uh, can I also... Those, high priority, because they should be quick to build. Should be. Uh, lumberjack flags are going to get there slowly. At the moment, we have a case of too much timber and nowhere to spend it. Which leads me to my uh, next thing I want to build, which is going to be storage. Uh, we're going to get some log piles. And I guess here seems like a fairly good spot. Uh, probably high priority. Because as soon as they're built, it means all the foresters can come and dump the excess trees that they have. Uh, yeah, dump the excess trees they have, but, uh, you, do I have any jobs for you? No. Okay. So that's our plan. Uh, obviously more building, more building, more storage, uh, chop out this forest. We also are going to need some more foresters. I do have one planned at least, but obviously not built. Uh, now that we have water running, this is going to fill up. Hopefully our big dam, our big, big dam, is enough to make sure that this colony makes it through a drought. Because it does not have enough water, well, a lot of water storage. We were lucky that we'd already got this little dam in here. So we had a lot of water banked up already. But it was a fairly short drought. I'm worried about a longer, like, 12, 13, 14, a dreaded 30-day drought. I'm worried about this district for a 30-day drought. Definitely worried. Um, I'm worried for the home district for a 30-day drought as well, but that's besides the point. Uh, so you are empty. We can get rid of you. We're going to put in uh, storage, a large warehouse. I need to rotate you once so you can go there. And then monument, a labor monument. Wrong direction. Although... He's going to literally be looking in the window. 
Uh, of... Yeah, he's going to literally be looking in the window of... Uh, Ranger Beaver, Dom Beaver, Evil Beaver, Foreign Beaver, Rough Beaver, Kingwa Jelly Beaver. Nah, don't touch that beaver. Timber, who's just a boring beaver. Also, Saw Beaver. Look, it, it, it's important if you have a Saw Beaver that you keep an eye on it. So we're going to put the monument there, staring straight in Saw Beaver's window. I'm pretty sure Saw Beaver will appreciate that the, the fact that we're 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 concerned. And worried and paying attention. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, we are going to say none. And have carrots, berries, and grilled potatoes. Uh, and normal potatoes. So, you are going to eat... Mm, no, actually, all. This one, I think, we're going to set up for food. We definitely want a... Ooh, I do have no water. Oh, never mind. We have lots of water. Okay, I got really worried there for a second. We're, we're going to have this one set up for... Wow, it's almost built. Yeah, we have too many builders. Um, I need to give them more projects. Oh, there's the drought. It's been four whole days. Of course there's the drought. All right, good. Now that we've got a drought on the way, everything's normal. Okay, so uh, main district. Main district has this storage container. We're going to say none, and then we're going to say berries, carrots, uh, grilled potatoes, and potatoes. You are just going to store food. That is all you're going to store. I think in this district we could go through and get wheat up and running. Um, because now that we have the uh, water dumps, these areas never ever run out of water. Uh, did I ever shut? Oh, my God. I never shut that. Good job, JD. I think when this drought hits, we're going to replace these with levees. At least then if I see it flooding, I'll remember to raise the, raise the floodgates. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get a monument here. It's already partially done. I have also told the beavers, and they should be able to get in here and remove all this, because we're going to have the beavers start coming in here. I'm going to start putting in water pumps basically um we're gonna need a lot of water pumps uh just to handle well this whole area so that's gonna be the first port of call for in here um just so the beavers have something extra to do at the same time i'm gonna actually up the priority on that and also up the priority on that because we've worked out that there's probably only eight builder beavers that can actually work on this at the same time so i want to make sure they're working on this at all times because that is the number one project oh and we've got our little bridge it has a little shadow that's cool i i, I didn't get a chance to build a bridge in last 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 series at all okay uh so with that out of the way uh the sacrificial district sacrificial district has some food which is half dried out that's not bad oh we're replanting it okay we're replanting it uh, they have... Yep, they've got the beehives up and running. You have zero free beavers. That's a problem. Uh, meanwhile, we do have... Our shrubs are in place. Our roofs should go in fairly quickly. Our scarecrows fairly quickly. Uh, the log pile... Oh, really? Yeah, you just need a beaver to sniff at you. That should be dead easy. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Uh, meanwhile... Plant crops in there. Uh, it also means that these lumberjacks can finally dump their excess timber. Uh, so we're, 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 we're getting there bit by bit by bit. Mm. So we have the labor, Laborer Monument up and running, uh, which means Saw Beaver, who just turned 18, so, you know, at least they're of legal age now, in Australia at least, uh, can, can have somebody keep an eye on their saw beaver uh we have obviously pumped the river dry already and we haven't quite filled the tank so we're gonna have to drop you slightly yeah i don't this, this is the thing i just never know how much water to actually let out because we just want to fill this and like every, all the water here is useless like, I, I don't really want water here. I just want water in this part. Uh, okay, let's assume that's enough. 
And yeah, th this drought, we're definitely going to be building uh, these. We have no wind power, as always. Uh, as for the Sacrificial District, Sacrificial District is, is, is getting there. Like, it has a lot of construction to do. It has got its bonuses, at least running on one side. Uh, zero, one, zero, zero. Can the beavers just not reach it? Are we trying to be built from the main district? Are we just lazy? Oh, technically I don't have a path all the way under. Maybe that's it. Okay. Uh, so, we've started getting the water pumps up and running. I've started straightening out the farms. We have do have two beehives up and running. Uh, and funnily enough, I have seven idle beavers. I just can't get stuff built fast enough. So, we, we've encountered this before. Uh, you drop down a builder's hut, and then the I can't get stuff built fast enough problems go away. Hopefully, hopefully at least. Uh, we still have one day before the drought hits us. So, oh my god, all that water's gone already. Uh, okay, so I need to top up these tanks one last time, hopefully. Uh, and at the same time... We will try and store as much water as possible. I have started setting up a mega project on the inside of a whole bunch of water pumps, which does mean that in theory, every single builder should be able to get in on the action and get some actual building done. At least that's the hope and the plan. Uh, yeah, that gets pumped dry just about instantly. All right, Adja, oh my gosh, it's a 13 day drought. Well, the dam is fairly full at least. Uh, water tanks are about that. Yeah, water tanks are less than ideal. Uh, you can go away, Foxy Beaver. Uh, Foxy Beaver it can go there instead. We are going to empty storage for that one and empty storage for that one so I can get another large tank in there because why not? Uh, main district. Main district food is fine. We've got food in theory, maybe, possibly have water. Uh, we're also swapping over all of that to maple. Yep. Uh, have the mega project in here that we're going to get to gradually over time. Uh, the new district, the sacrificial district, same story. They're getting there. They're getting there. We do have an extra set of builders up and running. We do have like four unemployed beavers, so hopefully I can get some stuff done. Uh, carrots in there. Uh, how much food do you have? 78. But you don't technically have food storage. So that's probably got something to do with it. Uh, storage. Small warehouse. Um, 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 um. Yes, where would you like to build your warehouse, sir? I don't know. Uh, actually, no, we do have one warehouse. Um, you know what? Let's build you there and there and there. Uh, so, that and that are a fixed cost, and two and four, or one and four. One and four is the way we're going to go. Uh, that loses me a tile. Is that tile important? It might be. Uh, we're going to go with, we're picking you into the housing block. That seems like the smarter way to go. Okay, and we're going to up the priority on the bottom one, not the top one, just the bottom one. Uh, hopefully that'll give us some more food storage options. For unemployed beavers, I think the answer is going to be let's get two more farmhouses up and running. And at the same time, put a beehive in there and a beehive in here and a beehive in here. When somebody actually harvests, uh, harvests the carrots, because... Obviously, we have legendary amounts of carrots, and always harvesting them. We also have, according to this, 261 wood, but they're empty all the time. So we probably also need some haulers. Um, I'm willing to bet... I actually know it's all down here in this log pile. That'll do. That works for me. We'll, we'll accept that. Okay.
okay, so we're, 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 we're three days in the drought. We're, we're like a quarter of the way in. We're, we're doing okay. But, but, there's always a but. Okay. Let's go with the main district. Main district still building its giant levy, but it's going to be a long-term project. Uh, on top of that, we're still getting in all this scaffolding. It does mean that, no, it doesn't mean anything until this back row is done, and then in theory we can jump around the side and start building over there. This is being built as well. We're, we're getting there bit by bit, okay? Um, we do have the first pump could possibly be built. Not that it's going to help us an iota, because actually, can I? Right, let's do that. Alright, because I'd really like to get that wall finished off at least. I have no idea how we're going to get the rest of it done. But yeah, we, 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 we can eventually get this up and running. After I get this up and running, I need to demolish more land and, you know, build another lot of pumps. But, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we get them in here, they'd run all the time. So I'd possibly need less. Possibly. The other option is I double it and we have 14. So I, I have some decisions when it comes to this. Uh, this the, the, the pumps inside the... Um, what do you call it? On top of that, we have got some storage up and running. Uh, can we prioritize? Well, one of them is magically built. Uh, have got some storage up and running. We're getting some more storage up and running. The biggest problem with the sacrificial district is they don't actually have enough population. Um, we're, we're waiting on kids. I've actually had to build and prioritize more housing because we just don't have... Oh, really? It's off by tile? Pause. Uh, mark with... Sure. Or not that one. Uh, food, 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 food. Food. Uh, carrot, carrot. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, we're, 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 we've got in a certain amount of uh, the beehives already. We're, we're trying to get more in. Uh, and food is going awesome for this district. Which is sort of one of the problems. We actually have, in theory, a lot of food. More food than we can harvest. Um, but we don't have a big enough population. So I'm trying to get the population boosted up in this district. It also technically is just about out of timber, which is a whole separate worry. Uh, plant crops. You guys don't really need more area planted. In fact, I'm probably going to retire all that carrot. Uh, we wanted carrot there, and I want food, beehive. Perfect. Uh, on top of it, we'll probably need some potatoes. Perfect. Uh, can I get a path? there instead. You are lost. Lost Beaver is going to do nothing. We're going to swap that over to potatoes. No, that is correct. Okay. Uh, which finally means we're going to start getting some bonuses for these particular beavers. Uh, we're going to need to remove that and that. Uh... I'm going to need probably more. Yeah, let's put in another beehive. And not the grill itself. Uh, mark that up for potatoes as well. Uh, food. We definitely need more farmhouses. Can I get a farmhouse there? And can I get that tree to go away, please? Thank you very much. Uh... Okay, so that's done, that's done. That needs to be harvested. Uh, the potatoes need to be harvested. The last couple of trees need to be chopped down. We do have all the water pumps in, and we finally have three unemployed. So I know for a fact we're definitely past the point of needing a hauling post. So we're going to get a hauling post where? Uh, here? No. Uh... It can really go on the outskirts of the city. It doesn't need to be... Ha-ha! Perfect. Uh, we're going to get a hauling post in right there, it turns out. 
Uh, same time, you have logs. And if we pause forest gump and put in a new lumberjack all the way over here. Out of the way. Uh, you're empty. Perfect. Alright. So, uh, the sacrificial district. Sacrificial district has water, has food, has trees planted for the next district over. Not really their own trees. Uh, now has, once that's built, a hauling outpost. We're going to actually start in this district, start getting some beaver power, I think. Um, because this district looks very healthy. Very, very healthy. Like, extremely healthy. Uh, they don't really have anything that they have to do. They have potentially plenty of food. And if I do some more planning... If I do some more planning like that, we should have a water situation solved because there's still a decent amount of water in the actual river. Um, and you got to remember, this is the overflow from this river, so we should be okay. Now, don't get me wrong, like I, I, I don't have gears here yet, so I don't have any big tanks yet. But that's also on the list of things that I want to work out. So we're going to put in a gear workshop. Uh, which means once we have gears here, I can start putting in large water tanks, which was always the plan with actually a platform there underneath. Uh, there and there. Put that there, that there. Set you to the highest priority. That way you'll get any planks that show up. Uh, drop that in there. And this district's pretty much done. Pretty much done. Uh... Well, apart from enough population, which is a separate issue entirely. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, their farmhouse and grill house is not running because they don't have the population. Which means next row of the houses is going to go in. We're also going to preemptively uh, build that up to the next level so with that done uh we, we should be good uh i will probably well actually i'll definitely have to take it another story higher so we can get some rooftop terraces in so the children can age up as fast as possible but as soon as we have some available beavers in this district and we actually have some free workforce we're definitely going to be going over to uh manual wheels over the back here somewhere and we're going to start running on the wheels because, unfortunately, we keep having this situation where we have half the supply of the demand because the water, the, 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 the windmills just suck. The next level require gears. Now, I have paper, but I don't have gears. So, once the main district, which is not out of order, thankfully, uh, once the main district finishes with its gear production targets and projects, we're probably probably going to swap it over to doing um well a lot more uh wind turbines the big ones the big ones which we'll obviously need the research for which is only 1400 points which we have just more than that currently so it's fine it's fine we'll we'll, we'll get there so we're we're well and truly over the halfway point in the district uh in in the district in the drought now we can see that water got um very 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 low so we've just opened the floodgates up and oh i didn't change any of those over to levees uh okay we're gonna max that back out we'll pump up what's here uh i've emptied the last couple of little storage tanks so we can put in our very last large storage tank uh which again will we won't max out the party on because we're going to come to here uh, remove that and that and put in a levy right there at maximum priority because I forgot see skis and we will get that up and running so the other problem with the main district is it's technically maxed out the population we don't have technically enough workers to get everything done uh, especially with pumps up here trying to have beaver labor 
Uh, but same time, we also need to uh, set up the, uh, that's the pumping tile, that's the building tile, that's the pathing tile. Uh, all that to be removed. Yeah. Yeah, more things to be done. Uh, the water just vaporized. Height two. Alright. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We hope to be fine. Uh, path. Please. In there. Okay. Whilst that's happening, uh, the Sacrificial District. Sacrificial District has run out of timber. Uh, has no population. Has lots of food. Food's the one thing we do have. Uh, and that's pretty pretty much where we're at. We desperately need to get some more timber coming in, so we're going to have to grab the good old forester. Uh, actually, okay, so we're going to grab a forester and put them here. And we're going to unmark all of that as food. Uh, mark in everything here. We're still going to go with maple, even though I should probably pick something that's a little bit faster to grow. Uh, but look, I gotta admit, I just I like my maple. I like my maple. Uh, we're also going to grab another forester and I can't see what range you cover now. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get one built, we'll see what their range is down here and stuff, and then we'll work out where the next one goes and the next one. Because we're going to need like three foresters. Like, we have this whole area we can forest up. We have this area. These are done, and they are halfway, roughly. Yeah, a little bit over halfway. So when this comes online, we, we should be good on wood for a little while at least. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention is scrap metal. We are definitely running out. Uh, but on the other good news is I have somewhere else to put another large warehouse. Uh, not quite. I really want to put it there. Just so I can save the other two tiles in case I find something to fit in there. Well... Everything's going fine until the Sacrifice District uh, runs out of pumpable water. We have 69 adult beavers. Nice. 19 children beavers. We are still trying to expand it. Uh, also trying to get over here and put in some more foresters and plant more trees because we have nothing to chop. Uh... And yeah, have suddenly had the river dry up. You know, the, 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 there's a river over here. It's just we've sucked this part dry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the same time, like I said, I, we we do need more foresters. Uh, so I think we're gonna get one, one there, and one there. That should just about cover everything we're gonna need. Uh, and we're just gonna quite blatantly plant everything is maple. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, get rid of all those berries that dried up. Uh, after we get both of these done, which are being built slowly, we should should be in a position where well, one, we can get rid of this farmhouse. Two, we should be in a position where we have enough timber that I don't have to worry about timber in this district anymore. Um, we're going to remember this is meant to be feeding a separate district. I probably need to put a water dump in here. Or two. Just to make sure this doesn't happen again. Yeah. My other option is put a levee wall all the way around the outside. But it sort of means that we need to remove all the buildings that we've already built on the foreshore. And, um, yeah, I don't like that option. I really, really don't like that option. Um, or we could blow it one tile deeper. That option I like. Yeah, I like that option. It requires explosives, which we don't have yet. But it's a good option. It's a good option. Unconnected buildings. Yeah, cool. 
Beavers, you're super smart. Everything be just be normal priority. Yeah. Uh, so we do have 200 water stored up, which is enough for 90 beavers to last a day. Yeah. It was called Sacrifice District for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, because, you know, the district is almost dry with just a hundred and less than a hundred water left and, you know, still another day and a half. Uh, we're also going to keep the pressure on with this district because if we must sacrifice a district, we must make sure that they worked hard all the way up to their dying breath. Uh, we're going to add some drivetrains. So, to add some drivetrains, we're going to put in some junctions, some... Uh, I need to bring you out at least one tile and into there, into there. And actually, you can go one longer. Power wheel there. Uh, run that through to there. And technically, I want to bring it here. Uh, actually, I want to bring it to there. Hang on. We need to make sure all the straights are in. Uh, and I'm going to break at least that path from district to district. I'm going to bring a raised platform to there and to there. Then we'll stare down and we'll remove you. And we'll also stare up there. So that's going to be the new path because that means I can put in a drivetrain through there. It also means I need to break this and put a cross drive in there. So we're going to uh, priority up that one. Going to make sure that I put in a path around as best as possible hoping the main district can at least repair that one um as for uh the sacrificial districts well they're down at 60 water and a day and a half um i'm expecting they'll start dropping like flies real soon well that clearly says zero water left and just to check yeah that they, they, they're all perfectly empty uh, good news is uh, that Woody Beaver, Woody Beaver is happy to run on the wheel to his dying day, um, even though it's not actually plugged into anything. That's entirely besides the point. Woody Beaver is an eager beaver and is going to run on the wheel till his death because we're at point eight of a day. Uh, old age, old age. Eh, maybe we'll make it. Maybe. I'm not confident. Not confident at all. But maybe we'll make it. Well, the good news is it's just point three of a day left. The bad news is we have many, many thirsty beavers. Like, a lot of them. Like, all of them. So, we might make it. But it's not just the water flowing. We also need to pump the water. And then everybody's going to want to have a sip of the water. Including Moist Beaver, who literally just got born, born and, um, well, if they're moist, they'll probably be fine for a day or two, right? Okay, drought is over. Water rocks do flow. Yes. Uh, water rocks do flow fast enough that Pumpy can pump. Come on, pumps. There we go. Alright, so we have some pumps flowing. They have a drop of water. That means we're going to have a whole bunch of beavers pop over. But we did lose, you know, a, 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 a few beavers at least. Uh, we're back down to 69 population. I, 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 I probably call that a win. Anyway, I think that means that we need to end the episode. We, we've survived yet another drought. We are putting in uh, some power wheels. In fact, a lot of that construction is already done. I can unpause you. The Woody's home's going to have to go away. 
so we can actually get the drivetrain built behind it. Uh, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, so yes, we, we, we have... Oh. Exotic Beaver? No, it's a new one. That was some... Oh no, that's submissive. Uh, Oz died of thirst. You know I said 69 beavers? Nice. 68? Exotic Beaver? You don't give a damn. Oz, submissive. Foreign Beaver. Exotic Beaver. Splinter. Timber. KY Jelly. Clint Eats Wood. Okay. A dirty? No, we had dirty as well. We died yesterday. So, 64? Most beavers made it. Oh, no, split beaver died as well. In saying that, even though most beavers made it, we haven't started pumping enough water yet. So... We might still lose more beavers. Saw is grown up. We have saw, saw the second. The second saw beaver. No, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we're good. I don't think anybody else is going to die of thirst. Now we now have water in containers. Uh, that's the point where I call this a win. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. We just need to go through and, uh, you know, rebuild a good portion of this district. Uh, I still need to plant a bunch of trees. And then if we get enough planted, hopefully we can get this district to a point where it is self-sufficient efficient again well it was apart from the whole timber thing because i didn't plant enough uh but yes with the water running we're gonna leave those floodgates down again until this floods sometime in the next episode then i remember to raise the gates because what is not good here either we do have 500 so we're doing a lot better than uh the sacrificial district but not quite as good as i'd like uh Okay. Right, I've wafted for more than long enough. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Timberborn Hard Mode. Hard Mode. With um, this lovely custom map. Don't always. Uh, also, don't forget, like in the description, there is a link to this particular map. Uh, and also a link to my Patreon. You know, if you want to support the channel over there. Or. You know, on your way down to the description, you go past the subscribe button along with the join button. You can always click that and become a member for a dollar a month. Yeah, jet is expensive. Um, but like all the sport helps and then you get early access to the videos. So then you can see the next lot of beaver puns prior to everybody else. But yeah, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.